crazy pixel. You're so diligent. I really appreciate all your effort. Will you please come back and see me tonight? I need to ask for another favor. I'll be honest with you, I love 90s anime. The look and design of the characters that came out of this era are still highly regarded as some of my favorites. Today, anime has gotten a little more streamlined and although it looks great, I can't help but miss the older stuff. However, developer Ascension Dream has come up with a new point and click visual novel with plenty of beautiful illustration but lacking a good amount of polish. This is Noisy Pixels review for Pansu Hunter Back to the 90s. Remove your hands! Pansu Hunter Back to the 90s begins with a simple premise. Kenji Kojima needs money and he is looking for love, which leads him to his career path, a jack of all trades for girls in need. Somewhere along the line, he discovers that he can learn a lot about girls by their panties, and so he pretty much uses this handy skill to get him in a position where he can find the girl's panties. There are three main routes and four different girls that Kenji will meet throughout the game. Each girl has a different personality as well as an issue that they need Kenji's help with. So it's then up to the player to gather items and go through the motions of events as they seek out panties and the chapter's true ending. The only problem with this is how cryptic these events are to figure out. The developer has made it extremely difficult to find panties so expect to encounter many of the game's bad endings. It's through these frustrating moments that have me confused about what they expect from the player, especially when it comes to finding secret events, which are arguably too good to be kept a secret. These events are hidden behind some strange things such as changing a channel to 69, but why would you do that if you didn't know, even though it is pretty funny? These additional scenes tell the story about the girls and what they were going through before Kenji was in their life. I really enjoyed the length that the writers went through to portray these girls in a way that you seem to care about them and their situation. Also, the last chapter of the game features all the characters at a hot spring and plays out more like a typical visual novel, which is actually better than the point and click chapters. Sadly, this is locked behind completing all the chapters and finding a good number of panties as well as the true endings. Pantsu Hunter Back to the 90s is a gorgeous looking game. The backgrounds and character illustrations as well as its soundtracks are its strengths, but it's bogged down by a cryptic and confusing interface with its fair share of bugs. And as good as the English audio is in the game, it suffers from a lag that it plays long after you're done reading the subtitled text. I didn't tell anyone about this. Don't get me wrong. Pantsu Hunter Back to the 90s offers a unique experience that is full of comical moments and great visual novel animation, but it might have been just too ambitious for the developer since the visual novel-like chapters and hidden events are the game's strongest moments. Also, I should say if you're looking for some lewd CG scenes, I'd look elsewhere because the game doesn't feature any of that. Noisy Pixel is giving Pantsu Hunter Back to the 90s a 6.8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content and maybe check out our website at noisypixel.net. You're too young. Too young to kiss? That's just silly. How about you kiss me instead? <laughs>